we have reason to believe that Microsoft purchased Blizzard for Diablo Immortal itself. Diablo Immortal, 100%. I'm going to share with you that information. They really did acquire an entire company just to get one game. Wow. Well, you're going to find out here. Hit subscribe, and I'm going to show you that Microsoft just did a massive layoff. There is an AI that can actually create levels, but that's not the reason why these people were laid off. What is the reason these people were laid off? Microsoft CEO of gaming went around the world identifying employees who were not a part of the hive mind and simply pruning them. Now, we have around 22,000 employees, and about 1,600 were cut. It simply means Microsoft was pruning the leaves, people that it thought were not the best fit for their team. Let's hear it from Phil Spencer himself. The people, as he went around the world, were probably thinking he's just examining us to see what he's buying. No, he was looking for how things work together. You can kind of feel the dynamic on a team and the creative output, whether it's a band, whether it's a writer, whatever. So spending time with the teams and getting to hear from them where they're, where they're going. I have some of my own opinions, of course. Uh, but they're just opinions. Uh, this is getting time with the teams, thinking about where we're trying to go, then looking at the games and where we are and where the roadmap, that's really where the work is. He was not looking for what you are doing. He was looking for how you do what you do. Do you like it? As a matter of fact, he went on to say he's going to trim the people who are only out there for a paycheck. Yes, he literally said that it does not mean you cannot do a good job if you only want a paycheck. What it means is he want people to fit together like a coherent unit. That's what Microsoft has been all about from the beginning. And I want to make sure that when we're going back and visiting something that we do it with our complete ability, a motivated team that wants to go um, work on something and make a difference, not just create something for financial gain. Or Wait a minute. So you want teams that are creating things not just for financial gain. You know, that says a lot. That, does that, what do you guys think? Drop me a note. What do you think about that? Because that's what I get from it. He's going around looking for team, basically looking for the people who just show up, clock in, do their work, clock out. That kind of fits the Microsoft lifestyle. That's why I'm excited to, to go on these visits. Starting with the teams and saying what they're passionate about. So what happens if you don't agree with what they were passionate about? Well, then you were one of the 1,600 people who were just laid off. So this doesn't necessarily mean that they're in financial turmoil and every game we're playing is going to close. Microsoft was just trimming the hedges. The work that happens here is really down to the individuals on the team. Um, but asking questions both to learn and to see what we're thinking about and where the ambition is. Wait a minute. Did he really say he was asking employees questions to see, do they have ambitions? That's exactly what I just said. Didn't want people clocking in, clocking out, going back to work and having no motivation because that can pass down through your product. Phil Spencer said it himself. Wow. This gives us a completely different insight on these layoffs. Uh, but I rely on the teams. Like let's, I get the title. I get to come on cool podcasts and, and talk too much. Uh, <laughs> oh, talk too much. No, thanks. Give us, give us this insight so we can share it with more people out there. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and press subscribe. This is really, this is really some good stuff here. I had no clue. He was touchy feely when he's going around meeting all of these employees, but here, okay, here we go. I told you before, that the Diablo Immortal people have nothing to worry about. You know, we actually have words from the Microsoft CEO himself saying that Microsoft purchased, made this acquisition because they wanted Diablo Immortal and they want to make more games like it. Wow. You need to hear it for yourself. I want Xbox to be a great brand, a great community for people over the next decades to come. So when I've thought about that, of what do we need to have in our portfolio and our capability as a team to ensure 30 years from now, Xbox is bigger and stronger than it is today, we've got to be relevant on mobile. There's just no way to really plot the future without being on the platform that most of the planet plays on. Oh, wow. So that kind of hints at it. Okay. So people are like saying, oh, well, he might've been saying something else. Stay with me. 
I got more concrete proof where he specifically points to Diablo Immortal as the reason for Microsoft purchasing this entire, just listen. Okay, let's go on. The games are different. The business models are different. The whole dynamic of how you distribute, how you find games is different. So when I was looking at that, I needed to find a team that's had amazing success for us to learn from. So literally, we just, Amy Hood, who's the CFO of Microsoft, and I went through a list of who are the most accomplished publishers in the mobile space. Okay, who do you think was on that list? Now you're getting at it. You're getting it now. Who's on that list? Who do you think was on the list when he's looking for the top mobile games and they're trying to find something to buy so they can increase their own life cycle. And most people wouldn't have expected, I think, I didn't, that Activision would have been as high with the King work, as well as the Call of Duty mobile work, Warzone stuff that they've been doing, Diablo Immortal. Did he really just say Diablo Immortal was the reason why he made this purchase? Yes, he actually did. Okay, so they purchased it because they want to follow, they want to copy, they want to make more like this. Wow. So I want to go learn from those teams because I think it's it's critical for us to deliver on the full promise of over 2 billion people playing, um, the, the opportunity to reach more of 3 billion people playing video games, to reach more and more people, that people who only play on their phone find Xbox to be something that's interesting for them. It doesn't mean I want to turn all of our franchises into mobile franchises. It doesn't mean everything's going to go free to play. I, I think the, the distribution and business model kind of diversity that we have is a strength of the platform. People who want to buy games, I love that. People who want to subscribe to their games, it's great. Free-to-play games are great as well. Um, but I'm really looking forward to learning on mobile because it's the truth of the matter is, is if, if you're going to be – if you're going to continue to be relevant in gaming at a global scale, you're going to have to find a way to be relevant on the largest platform, which is mobile. Wow. Because they want to jump into the mobile market and they want to follow and learn from what Diablo Immortal did. Fundamentally, we are trying to bring more games to more people. Wow. They're independent from us. So we say any kind of concerns that we may dictate where the games go hopefully is alleviated now um, and allow us to continue to move forward and what we're working on with the deal. We still have work to do there, but uh, we think it's a good step. Bring more games to more people, which has been what this is about. So if I want, they're independent wait, from us. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go back there. Let me go back. Connects all platforms. So now it starts to make sense. Microsoft has been buying up these little pieces so it can once again, Jump. I don't want to say the M word. Monopoly has nothing to do with it, people. Take that word out of your mouth. What they're trying to do is just reach every platform at the same time and bring them all into the games that we enjoy together. Mobile game, PC game, console gamers, all living in one happy union. This is exactly where things are going. It's, it is listening to smart people who care about this industry, who care about growing this industry in a safe way, in an inclusive way, um, and see there's so much opportunity with gaming, interactive entertainment as a form of community, as a form of education, as a form of joy and just fun. There's so much opportunity in this space. So what does that mean? Bottom line, Diablo Immortal, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. All of this is because of you. Now we can look forward to having more, more of what we all enjoy together. Go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me or do you think I'm completely wrong? Let me know right there in the comments. This is Savadia signing out. I will see you soon.